I did that with my truck. We got to get some rocks put on the land. So that goes to show you that you need to have money on reserve for things like that. You can't keep buying chicken nuggets, people. It's not going to help you. <laughs> chicken nuggets is not going to save you. Mary right here, my mentor, my one and only, the best love of all. So I want to tell y'all, I want to invite y'all to my invite only at Dragon's Ranch. And it's a very beautiful day out here, as you can tell. We got we got a beautiful shed out here, placed on the land, and it's ready. Hey, baby. Hey. You ready to go to Lowe's? Oh, yeah. Ready to get these building materials. Ready? And what we going to do? Deck this shed out. Exactly. <laughs> We decided to just take a day trip to Elizabeth City, Lowe's, and is reminding you that 911 pick up some, maybe some solar batteries, well, some batteries, some solar panels, a solar charger, and a few things to get off this gas. Because although we save from paying Georgia power, we're gonna be paying the powers that be if we keep paying for this gas. So we're going to have to switch it up, y'all. Shout out to YouTube. All of YouTube in the world. You're brilliant. I love you for it. And as I always say, read the freaking man. This will give you an idea if you're running a stereo. It's running 400 watts, table fan, TV, microwave, AC, etc. Now, earlier in my video, I mentioned that um, the one we purchased was 800 watts. In fact, it's 800 startup watts and 400 running watts, which, as you can see, only allows me really to plug up a stereo. Um, but yeah, each appliance basically tells the amount of wattage or amps that it takes. It's on the label. So take a look at it. from Harbor Freight for about $30, I believe. This right here is actually a battery charger. So it's gonna charge back up the battery via the generator. So we plug this in a generator to recharge the battery. And we purchased this baby from Walmart with a case. It's basically a deep cycle battery. 800 AGM battery, 800 uh, amps per hour. And again, this Syntec inverter here, which takes 800 watts. You can hear the fan going off because it's probably, you know, taking in some power without everything hooked up. But so far, so good. No fires or anything like that. And uh, we'll check the amps and let you all know. 